So I am finally covering probably the most asked question I get as an American who has moved to Italy, which is what is the visa process? How do I get a visa? How do I move? What do I do? And all, you know, basically all the questions and all the answers that you guys want from me and how I did it. speaking from, of course, my own experience. And I'm gonna also give some tips and things that I learned as well as the Italian consulate has been generous enough to give me some details that may help people who need a different visa than me. So I <laughs> did this, honestly, I, I moved to Italy on a whim and then had to sort my visa process after I decided to move, which is not what I recommend at all. It's actually almost impossible to achieve. So do not go that route. If you want to apply for a visa to move to a place like Italy, you have to go to an Italian consulate in America to start. And the best way to do that is to find your local Italian consulate that is based in your area because each place in America has a different Italian consulate that you have to go to that's in your region. So it's very important to make sure that you Google and make sure that you're going or speaking to the right Italian consulate. You can't just go, if you live in LA, to the one in New York or vice versa. So that's number one. Number two, I highly recommend based off of your living or work um, situation, you research what type of visa you need or what kind of visa you would apply for. I uh, have a self-employment visa, but I was able to get a self-employment visa because I'm an entrepreneur and also I created a company in Italy and I also bought a property and farm here in Italy. So I got a visa based off of this concept that I'm doing here. Um, for a self-employment visa, it doesn't mean that you have to be as big as me um, in the way of work, but it does mean that you have to bring your company or have to open some sort of Italian company here in Italy to be a self-employed person. The number one thing that Italians really look for is to make sure you pay tax. They are a very high taxed country. So just be aware of that is if you do move to Italy, it's not like certain places in America where you can kind of skip around tax and paying it, etc. It doesn't really work like that here. You have to pay the tax. It's a very bureaucracy country. When you apply for a visa, I actually hired a visa lawyer that was based here in Italy, based in the region that I was going to live, which is the property that I was going to buy. So I am located in the Perugia region, so I found a lawyer that was local here to make sure that uh, he really helps me with the paperwork process and also to make sure that I had everything proper because you do have to do all the process beforehand. So you apply for the visa, you have to go in person, you have to give your passport. So two things that you should really remember is one, Make an appointment. It's probably gonna be three months at least to get an appointment depending on where you live. I know that in LA and New York, it takes at least three months to get an appointment because it's very overpacked with people wanting to get visas. Secondary, you do have to give them your passport when you apply and give them all the paperwork. So don't plan to travel out of the country for the time that you are waiting to get uh, approved for your visa. This can also take up to three months, it depends. So you really wanna give yourself a good amount of time before you're planning to actually make the move to Italy to make sure you have your paperwork in order, you're giving your passport, etc. For me, I had work here, so I actually applied for a secondary passport in order to be able to travel back during my visa um, while it was getting accepted. This is also quite complicated to have to do, and this is something completely separate. You have to try and get an expedited visa I, or um, passport. I don't recommend doing this. I just recommend waiting it out. Don't travel. Get your passport back. They'll have your visa inside of it, and then you can travel um, to Italy, for instance, when you, when, it, when you have it back. Once you actually get your visa, that's not the only thing you have to do. You have to physically come to Italy after a certain amount of time. And then while you're in Italy, you have a certain amount of days to also go to your local police office and register that you are here, the address that you're staying, and of course getting stamps and a tax code and all those kinds of things. So this is where a lawyer is quite helpful. Otherwise, you just need to really pay attention and make sure that you have all your paperwork aligned, you're mailing in the right things and getting the right appointments to make sure you don't miss those dates as it does you know, make things a little bit complicated 
when you miss it, uh, especially with language barriers, etc. in Italy, as not a lot of people speak English. Once you go through that, depending on your visa, of course, um, you know, I have a long stay self-employment visa, so that means I'm allowed to stay here for as long as I want, as many days out of the year as I want. Um, for people who don't know, actually as an American, uh, we have a agreement with the Schengen countries, uh, which is basically all of Europe, that uh, we are allowed to stay 90 days in a 180 day period maximum without any visa. So if you plan to stay longer than that, then that's when you really need to apply for one of these longer stay visas. Of course, there is a student visa. Of course, there is um, many different types of visas, but I really just want to encourage you. Like I, I can't advise you on what visa is best for you. That's not my job. You need to do the research and make sure that you find out what requirements are needed from you, depending on your uh, circumstance. So just a little recap. <laughs> If you want to move to Italy and you're looking at what the visa process is, just Google which Italian consulate in the US is your local Italian consulate. Go to their website and see what visas they have that you can apply for. Feel free to call them. They're also quite helpful if you can get them on the phone. They're, ha they're happy to answer questions for you. And then again, I recommend if you want to move in the next six months to make an appointment ahead of time. And then you hold that appointment and just get all your paperwork done um, in that whatever gap of time it is when you get that appointment. Secondary, remember that you do have to give your passport so you won't be able to do international travel while they are approving your visa and it can take up to three months for them to get the paperwork back to you. And you do have to go physically in person and you have to register all your information. Um, the thing is, is with this type of work, like it, you really have to be on top of your stuff. And if one thing is wrong, you miss the appointment and you have to go back and schedule again. So this is just my experience. I did so many things wrong because I didn't know what I was doing in the beginning. And so I just, just really do your research, take your time. It doesn't need to be rushed. Find out what best visa is for you. And um, yeah, I hope that this is helpful. I know that I really struggled <laughs> to find my way into getting all the things properly done. Also, just to make it easy for you, I'm going to link the website where you can go and actually see all the different types of visas and if it's something that you can apply for just to make it easy for you. Again, empowerment is everything. Everybody has to learn their own way and to figure out what is best for them. So please just take it in your own hands to do your research and figure out what visa works for you if you're interested in moving to Italy. I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions, of course, uh, ask them in the comment box. Otherwise, again, I cannot tell you what visa you need, so please do your own research, and I hope this helps as much as possible.